Hello, hello. <laughs> we are back at it again. I'm so curious to see what this game has to offer next. I'm not sure how long the game actually is. But I'm hoping it takes a little while longer before we're done. So today I almost finished the painting and I'm kind of happy about it, which is nice. Sometimes it's really hard to, when you're painting something and it just doesn't feel right. But now I made something that I'm pretty happy about, so that's good, that's good. Mm, this Saturday I will have an exam. So, yeah, that's something. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be fine. It's about my own art, so what could go wrong, right? I have no idea where we're supposed to go now. Mm. Let's just go this side and see. Oh, we still have the ocean. Can I go down? Oh, look at this. <laughs> look what we find. That's nice. Hmm, we can go really far down. I love that we have this swimming... Uh, Okay, we can go here, yeah. Or can we? No, no, no. <laughs> we can't. Okay, okay. Whee. Then we just go to the right again. No problem. So on this side we only need two more, it looks like. Will there be something down here? No. Well, it's a little bit of a search as to where we need to go next. Wait, we can't go here either? Then where am I supposed to go? Um... Maybe we are supposed to go up? I don't know anymore. <laughs> no, we can't make that, can we? Oh, we can. Hmm. This I haven't seen before, I think. At least it changed a lot. <laughs> I guess we're going up. To the left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Oh, wait, what? Looks so cool. What? 
This is like the galaxy or something. I don't know. <laughs> and water. What? Okay, we're in the clouds. To the right we go. I have no idea. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Yellow butterflies. Oh. That's really nice. Oh gosh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. That was my mom. Mm. That looks so pretty. I don't want to miss anything. The plants as well. Oh. I am loving this. <laughs> uh oh. You can't go that way. Wait. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, we're falling. We're falling. Oh, we're fine. Wait, I'm having deja vu. This is the same as before, isn't it? Oh no, I missed it again. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no. How am I supposed to get there? Okay, whoa. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, I absolutely am in love with the colors. Okay. Let's see. Are you supposed to go? Oh, we're supposed to go down here. There we go. <laughs> oh, just made it. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I thought we were falling. Oh, I need to... There we go. Wait, that's a really big jump. How am I supposed to make that? I think I can. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs>
Ooh. Why, thank you. Okay, I can't get up there. There's another one. Now I get it. Okay, the light disappears when we make ourselves into a cube. That's nice. Luckily, we have another one. What? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Almost missed it. Okay, here we go. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Oh. There we go. And we're at the new level. Two stars we need? It's not that much. Those birds are cute. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be something. Oh, that's so trippy. <laughs> this is a little bit difficult to process. But I'm getting the hang of it. I hope. Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> there we go. Sure, if that had any use, what I just did. I don't think it did. Um, I need to get to that one, that star. But hmm. I don't think I can use those, but I should be able to, right? Oh, look at this. We got him. Oh. Barely made it. There we go. Great. I'm guessing we go this way. Yeah, we got one now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. we were supposed to go, but down we go first, I guess. Oh, those flowers are so pretty. I can't. <laughs> I thought everything with like the water and stuff was really cool. But the forest too, but this... Oh gosh, I keep missing it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here we go again. Upside down world. Oh, this way, I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, now I gotta start all over, don't I? Ah. Okay, this time. We do not forget, I hope. <laughs> How do we get there? I can't. What? How? Okay, I'm probably not looking at it the right way. Can I jump from here? Oh, 
Yeah, that works. <laughs> oh, secret staircase. I like this. This is nice. Mm. Oh, I missed. E. Yeah, that didn't went well. We're almost there. Okay, let's see. That's how we do it. Is it me or am I taking the one that is the most difficult first? <laughs> oh. It feels like I do that every time. Whee! We did it! That's so cool. What can we do with it though? Let's flowers grow. That's kind of cool. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Those are those cages. I was already thinking, like, where... It... <laughs> awesome. Mm. We're growing some trees. We're fine. Okay. I'm guessing we're not able to do that yet, so... We gotta find more stars. <laughs> oh 
darn it. I didn't want to go that way. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, we can't reach? What? I thought we would be able to. Guess not. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. But it's not here. That's for sure. Okay, we also can sing on the water. <laughs> kind of obvious, isn't it? I think I could go somewhere. But uh, no. Hmm. No, this is the same as the other side. Wait. Oh, we can go here, of course. No problem. I'm just going to use it on every plant that I see. I'll be able to stand on that. I wanna know. Nope. Oh, maybe I can make it though. Yeah, we can. There we go. Now we're finding things. How do we get there though? Not like that. Oh! Well then. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh! Okay, we made it. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Let's see if we can use that. Ooh, start. Yes. Nice.
upside down world to this again. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, what? I thought I had it. No? There we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> nice. We're getting there. Oh man, for you, we failed. Uh... But this time, oh, I <laughs> will succeed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's tricky. I have no clue where I'm going. There isn't even a map, so... Oh, we did find a star. That's a cool fish. We've already been here, right? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go that way again. No. 
human stars do we have? Four. I don't even know if that's enough. Let's just check it out. Now I'm missing one. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try going to this side. Reach that one. Okay, hmm. let's see. We're obviously not seeing something that we should be seeing. Can't go up, that's for sure. Ooh, here we are. Or maybe we could go up. And I'm just dumb. Hmm. <laughs> find a way over there. How am I going to do that? I only got this. <laughs> That's not going to be enough, is it? use it in the air. Um. What are we not seeing? Nope, I genuinely have no clue how to get there. Oh gosh. Can use. Now what? <laughs> now that we're here, what are we going to do? Nope. Okay, let's try reaching that flower. Nope, that flower is doing nothing for me. Okay, let's try and get back up here again. I 
am so confused. There we go. Oh my lord. Whoa. And you are? Oh, I don't mind it. Let's go. <laughs> I think we got it now. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. Okay. Well, thank you. Now we got all five of them. Oh no. This way we go. We're still going the right way. <laughs> I really hope we are. Make them grow. Pretty, pretty flowers. Ooh, I want that. <gasps> That's so cool. Not from that side. <laughs> this one will do. Oh, those wings. <laughs> they really thought of this. This is nice. Whee. There we go. Great. Oh. I thank you. I think we got them all now. We got like six or something. Six stars.
More flowers. <laughs> Wait, we can go that way? Oh! We can... Here we go, here we go. Oh no! Hey, hey. <laughs> how you doing? Yes, it's such a pretty game. And every time you make it through a new level, you get some new colors. It's really cool. Sometimes it's really trippy too, but oh my gosh. I love the colors. Here we go. This world looks a little bit broken. But we got some more stars. Can we now get all the way up? Oh, we might be able to. Just exploring or fight? No, no fighting. It's um. How do you say that? A little bit like with puzzles in it. A little bit of parkour. And sometimes you just have no idea where the hell you need to go. <laughs> like now, I have no idea. I'm just going this way. I don't know. It does look like we need to go that way. Hmm. Perhaps the other way. And I can become a cube, <laughs> which is very funny. I can swim and sing. This is my newest power, singing. <laughs> oh look, here we go. When I do so, I can open flowers. Oh, I missed it. Uh oh, that's our dog. <laughs> boo boo boo. <laughs> oh no. Is it the bird? Oh no, it's the eel bird thingy. Please leave us alone. This was kind of a battle, but you're not actually fighting itself. Oh gosh, it turned into us. Didn't it? Yes, the art is amazing. I'm blown away with everything that's here. Oh, 
Oh, I'm I'm in control again. We're floating through space, but it's darkness. <laughs> so we started off on a statue, and the statue gets more and more broken. I think, but sometimes it also repairs. I don't know. It's really confusing. I think I read something about it being certain mental states that you can go through. So that's very interesting as well. Oh, look, that's one of the statues. That's the new one. We just colored the world and now everything is black and white again. That's also very interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy, I missed that. Nope, I can't make those grey girls. Those three are beyond helping. Look, that's the hand where we started on, maybe? Are we whole again?
Okay, whoa. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Have you seen the new overpriced ghost hunting game? Ghost XL, the new Plasmo. Oh boy, they made a new Plasmo. Hmm, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's like walking into a, a painting. It's amazing. I enjoy this thing very much. Although I think it's coming to an end. At least that's what I feel like. It is leading us to now. We had to gather all these stars so we could climb up. This was so cool. And I, I didn't even gather everything that I could gather. So, I mean, I could go back in and play even more if I want to. Oh, they did such a good job. And it's not even that of an expensive game too, so... <laughs> I think something with self-love indeed, but I'm not completely sure. I don't know if the people who made the game specified that. People are, always, are way too excited about the game. They aren't coming back to Cosmo. It was more potential to be honest, but as if right now it's just too early, early access for me. Okay, it's better than Plasmo. Um, I don't know. Okay, I will look into it, but... Oh, that was so cool. How long did I do over this game? Like, I think the previous times that I played are still up. Yeah, so the first stream was almost two hours, the second one, one hour, and this one is also an hour, so I did like four hours over it, almost. Almost four hours. That's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, you must, it's so amazing. Now I have to see what I'm going to play next. <laughs> I'm also very into Genshin Impact lately. I was like, oh, I'm never going to play that game. But I was like, no, maybe I am. But I'm not really into the you need to buy things to actually play the game kind of mentality. So I asked some friends around and Stein also plays it. And he told me that it actually you can actually play the game without buying all of the characters. So I started playing it and I'm really enjoying it. It's so much fun to explore that world as well. So maybe I will stream that sometimes, show you my characters and stuff. I know I still have a little nightmare. I also bought some other kind of weird worldly adventurous games as well so that might be fun too <laughs> the ghost events are 10 out of 10 but a lot of things need to be adjusted oh, okay uh, and i don't know I, i'm enjoying plus mode to be honest so <laughs> i feel like the same i'm not going to buy it yet Oh, 
the special thanks is so sweet. <laughs> oh, we did it. What's so cool? Oh, now we can load the previous chapter so we can get our things they haven't got again. Like, and can I can show you around a little bit now? But let me see. Oh, is it now replaying? Oh, I think it. Yeah, it's replaying. But I kind of wanted to see how I could get into those chapters, if it lets me. <laughs> yeah, in the next uh, Christmas theme sale. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just stuck here. Chapters, there it is. So I can show you some of these chapters, but that will also be spoilers for you. Behind the scene. Ooh, I don't think... Oh, these are just the chapters. Mm. It should be at the main menu. Yeah, I'm looking into it. Um, extras, extras! Ooh. Ooh. Chapters, that's the same again. Gallery. Ooh, these are the sketches, I think. That's interesting to see. How do you come up with these kind of ideas? That's so insane. I hope they make a part two or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, behind the scene, it's on Steam? No, I don't think I have that. They did decide to keep her clothing a little bit less. Like, they tone it down a lot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, it looks a little bit like my art. <laughs> Just a bit more pastel color. It's so cool. designing for her clothing. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh. Here they go. <gasps> Our little friends. Oh my gosh, they were so adorable. Ah, I can't. <laughs> Okay, it's insane. It's really good. Oh, is this the map? Yeah, this is the world map. Isn't it? Well, part of it. Yeah, they did really great. Maybe he has more games? 
Music? We got even music too. Ooh. Just going to skip through them a bit and maybe we can check out behind the scenes. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> But this, like, you have to put your headsets on for this kind of music. The, it even like feels like it's going around in circles. That's really cool. So pretty! <laughs> Can't say it enough. I'm for sure uploading this to YouTube. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna see if we can get the behind the scenes. Let's go to my library. It says I played four hours exactly. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see now in the achievements that I got. We got depression, the fourth stage. 
Let me see if I can get more. And then it says acceptance, the fifth stage. And that's what I got today with finishing the game. I didn't get the other, I did get the colors. But I didn't get the third, the second, and the first stage. Probably because I get it, didn't get her everything that there was. <laughs> hey, you're back. <laughs> I was just trying to look into the making of... I don't know where exactly... You found that though. Let me search for it. I think there's soundtrack. I have the normal game and the soundtrack. The game now is back at 17 euros again. I think I bought it for like five or something. I don't know. I think it says here it says Chris is a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. Her journey through sorrow is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities to better navigate her faded reality. Um, where did you find that? I got the- oh, here it is. The behind the scenes. Add to account. Okay, now I can... Get them, I hope. And get verized. No. Why is it not here? I will find it in my library, it says, but I just clicked on it and I can see it. E Follow-ups, maybe? No. Hmm. Why is it not in my library? Videos. There we go. Um. Riz, new, behind the scene. Oh, they added so many more of their own games. They look totally different. They have such a different style. If that is the same artist, I'm so amazed <laughs> that he was able to came up with this. Play. I hope this works. Oh, man. Why do I need to do that? Okay, it tells me to log in first, but I I think I forgot my login already. Yeah, I forgot it. Okay, that's not going to work. Let me see if I can find something on YouTube or so. I don't know. Behind the scenes. Introducing Remarkable 2. Ba -da -ba -da the paper tab. Okay, I found something. Will it be beginning now? I'm not sure if it this is what I want, but 
<laughs> we will discover it together. Okay, let me see if I can pull it up. It's showing now. Uh, let me see. I think it should show up below any second. It's from people outside, but they can't enter. Nope, it isn't. Huh? Let me see. Can I just share my screen? Okay, is it now showing up? No, it isn't. Where is the such a struggle sometimes? Let me see if I can just add a new one. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. We won. So we finished our last paper session and the conference is coming to an end, but this is still the, the closing keynote. So today uh, I'm very happy to have here Adrian Cuevas, who is the founder and technical director of Nomada Studio. And he will present us about the creativity process of the Smash Hit Studio game. <laughs> so let's thank the speaker. I might just skip through a few bits because I'm not sure if this. Well, hello. Uh, this is a video game that we have first, uh, the, the first trailer that we did, the review. <laughs> hope the sound is good. It's like playing a movie too. Wouldn't it be amazing to work on something like this? Barcelona again. And here I work in several games. Uh, probably the most important one is Rainbow Six Siege. Look and how different that our style is. My two partners. I am so Roger confused. Mendoza. He uh, studied in Barcelona with me. That's where I met him. And he has worked in Ubisoft uh, Montreal for like almost six years. He worked mostly in Assassin's Creed and also some white, squad, uh, some white uh, skateboarding and also Rainbow Six. And the third part of, the, of this team is uh, Conrad Rousset. He's a renowned artist from Barcelona, but he's actually from Terrassa. And he has been working with big uh, advertising uh, companies for a while. He has done uh, some advert for uh, oh. Adidas, Nike, Whoa. Disney, okay. Coca-Cola. So a lot of things, but probably his uh, most well-known exhibition has been this work is called Musas, and it has been exhibited all over the world. It has been exhibited in London, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, pretty much everywhere. And the thing is that he never worked in video games, but he always had a niche for it. He he liked a lot vi uh, playing video <laughs> games. Same. <laughs> and like most of the good adventures in life, uh, our adventure started in a bar. That's what it happened. Basically, okay, I, I gotta go I to, to go bars to more, I guess. For four months, <laughs> working Rainbow Six, and I was doing like a farewell party, and by chance we met with a friend that was celebrating her birthday party, and Conrad was one of the guests of the birthday party, but we didn't know him. And basically, we sit all together, and by chance we said Roger, me, and Conrad together, and start talking. And basically, Conrad told us that he always wanted to make a video game, but never did it before, so he was <laughs> looking for people to help him to do it. And to be completely honest with you. We were quite drunk, so I thought, this is going nowhere. I'm going to Montreal in two days. Let's forget about it. But I was saying yes, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> Luckily for me, Roger stayed here in, uh, in Barcelona and kept talking with Conrad. And four months after I came back, oh yeah, I forgot, by the way, this is the first uh, draw 
that Conrad did of the game when we were in the bar. He drew that in a paper, and he said, I want to make a game where the colors are very important. And I, I want to start, yeah, you can see, yeah. <laughs> 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 but he said, like, OK. That he was had the whole idea and like, okay, everything. It's pretty. It's just, yeah. Uh, but he wanted to start in black and white and getting colors. That's kind of the key part of the game, no? And anyway, so as I say, I left, but luckily uh, Roger kept talking with, uh, with Conrad. And when I came back, they told me, hey, we have been still talking about this. We want to make it. Are you in? And I said, well, of course. So the first thing we did, uh, bear with me, is very rough. But it was a small prototype trying to show a bit the idea of the game we have in mind. Uh -oh. It's just <laughs> a very small part of the game. <laughs> the prototypes are all so funny. Because sometimes They're it's hard to explain up. which type of game <laughs> you're making. You need to do even if it's a small prototype. This one. As I say, very rough, very sketchy. It's like a two, three frames animation for the character. Very ugly, but it shows a bit what I'm, what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, they're running too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah. <laughs> The running is repeating itself as well, it's not a perfect loop. That is also very funny. <laughs> ah. Oh, there you have the hand. <laughs> Another hand as well. Okay. The what's that? Oh, that's the color adding. Okay, that's really cool. They immediately added all the colors the first time, I guess. But it was so in a bit the mood yeah, that well, it's with the game. Exactly, so kind of like what the game is about. So it's not infinite, like when you do a poster. So what? Like that was almost eighty percent never worked on the game. Well, and they have really good ideas, and they, they were thinking outside what is a common uh, game usually, right? Uh, anyway, that's so insane. That was really good for us. And where do you today, find those people? You this, uh, five points <laughs> Please of, give them uh, to me. The <laughs> uh, first, I will start with the narrative, art, animation, design, and music. Narrative uh, for us was a very important thing and a really challenging one because when you have uh, some limitations on resources like we did, we have to. You Let's have to see try to turn this. Then you go up. Then you oh, have this is about how they breaking point. Then you have to come back. Well, it's it's a classical structure for movies. And then we map all these biggest the bigger events that we wanted to have, so we can also know that every 10, 15 minutes there was always something happening. So. When we were doing this, we contact with a psychologist that is also a game designer, uh, Hector Fuste from Barcelona, and he helped us a lot looking for uh, the symbolism of the story, how we could, you know, spread some of the things during the game so people could understand a bit that we are talking about this process of grief. That's what I thought um, as well. It's <coughs> a process we of this, grief. We start thinking about the yeah, the now it makes sense. So again, <laughs> limited resources. We wanted to go first for an open world kind the of five stages idea, of you could grief. Go wherever you go, whenever you go. Whenever you want, but the yeah, problem five is that colors that's a lot as of well. Work, especially when you have a world that is evolving, that is getting colors like that, you will have to do pretty much every part of the world five times because we have five evolutions. So, because of this, we changed for a more linear approach, and to be honest, I think it was a really good decision because it also helped us a lot to guide the play a little bit more or that level of that level coming back, and you will see how that world had changed. So you see that world changing, the main half changing, and more or less your mind thinks like, okay, so the whole world is changing. It's not just that part. Uh, <coughs> also, another yes, it becomes blurry and, <laughs> and her clothing. Looks, it looks pretty bad. So we decided to try to look for something much more elegant and minimal. That's so a good choice that, that I we made. Through, that uh, trying to get a character with a bit more, I, yeah, more simple. And <coughs> Hi there. This is the final <laughs> design of our character. I'm really good. How are you? 
Finally, we are watching the aftermath the of uh, Chris. I just finished playing it. Us, one of the main are well, the storyline I finished. Movies, but also, uh, <gasps> Studio Ghibli, yes! Oh my gosh. And <laughs> to be honest, one of the references that pretty much no one realized, and it's, it's normal that you didn't realize, is uh, <laughs> Thanks. aquascaping. <laughs> We're right looking here. at uh, where they got their days, inspiration Conrad from and who worked on it and things he like was that. Creating his own uh, aquarium, and he spent a lot of time and money making. I'm skimming aquarium. through it a little bit because it's uh, probably now I don't know where it is, but probably nowhere. Like uh, one hour long, see, but maybe we, I'll watch it in private. private. <laughs> uh, a yeah, a, I loved it. Kind of a branch of aquascaping that is called Iwagubi. It's a Japanese. It's really great. It's a Japanese uh, um, culture of uh, aquascaping. And they pay a lot of yeah, attention indeed. to elements. Very to Japanese kind of so style as well. They do it. With a few elements, they create a beautiful com composition. And we use the same thing. That was the same idea for us when creating the level. Well, once we have all this, we start creating concepts, a lot of concepts. We were doing like maybe five concepts, two, three, five concepts every day. We end up with more than a thousand concepts of the game. Obviously, some of the concepts make it to the game, but some of them didn't. This one, for example, oh. is another part of the story of the that we had that it never made it to the game. But others were exactly you like You can always make exactly a second like part with, with those. <laughs> Once we had this concept, the story was clear. As the programmers and the more technical guys, we did everything we could so the game would look exactly like the concept art. So these are a couple of examples that right now it looks very similar in the game. I am actually kind of like okay, of looking the, uh, into um, for us was animation. the animation concept of was making a whole, a whole new world said, by, and putting that into my art. Frame by frame. And it was if you like this game, I think you'll like. At the beginning, Conrad had the idea of doing everything on amazing paper, scan it, story and game. Yeah, you taught me about that, that already in the <laughs> convincing that it was madness. There's a few teams that have tried. So many cool ones coming out lately. It's not worth it. You can do effects, you can I put some paper effects, look forward I'll to play as with well. the, scan some watercolors, that's what we did, and it will look yes. something like it was done in paper. It's not exactly the same, but it's that's very, very similar. exactly the same technique that Studio anyway, GPD used, the, this is the first animation scanning like the running cycle in a drawings and then this using the that in the, the animation, so you can still see the pencil hours. thing. Basically, so, you're going to yeah. be running all the time. A few jumps, but that's gonna that's the thing <laughs> that's <gonna> <laughs> running in the so face. Important. So we remove it, and this is actually the, the cleanup uh, phase of the animation. Finally, came out with this animation. This is the the, the, the running cycle we have right now. They awesome. A few changes. It looks so Again, clean. The sleeve, we remove it for like the same it are purpose. only it like twelve really, really frames. Anything, and it's more that's not a lot. And it was also noise in the dress, so we remove it, and this is actually the, the cleanup uh, phase of the animation. So it's much more clear. It goes straight to the point. That is still elegant. Well, the color art, yes. As well. So that was uh, the best. Then we decided to express ah, all the, oh my gosh. Of the character with the dress, and so we could go a bit crazy with it. This is the animation of the heavy ability. So basically, the dress becomes this heavy cube. That's so funny animation. It in the game, this is how it looks. Yes. So again, oh we, we work a lot on those animations. This is another example. Let's this see. is. A... Let me see. Oh, this is the underwater bit. So that what like... we did is oh doing gosh, like I hated that part. This beautiful concept <laughs> art that you have jumping on the rocks, blah blah blah. But then what happened if you fell, and you cannot die? So that was a really big challenge for us when we were designing levels. We have to make a game. Yeah, you cannot die in this game. Not dying. You don't have points. You don't have time. Basically, you have to, and you still have to do these beautiful things. So yeah, that, doing that's doing something I really enjoyed about the game too. The properly, you so don't you fail, die you and you can just is, for example, one take how much time ideas. you need for you it. Fell. There is a floor there and there is a contraction that brings you back and as soon as you are up, it gets out. So at least you still see the, the clear and clean concept art. I never fell off, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> but then I would have never so seen it. Cars, but if you fell, I remember your reaction to her becoming a square. Oh, yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So we do all these things. But it's very challenging when you design a game with no death. Really, really challenging. Then creating the puzzles. Yeah, uh, that that's very important. It seems to be very so difficult. Creating a lot of puzzles with the mechanics. And then deciding, uh, trying each puzzle separately first. And then trying to do a combination of all, the, of, all of them. And quickly prototype them. Even if it's a really ugly prototype like this. Oops. But it's really important that you try the game as much as possible 
because for us, we wanted a lot of people that never play video games to try these prototypes and told us if it was too hard. But yeah, exactly. That That's also something that I did. Boring. It wasn't too hard so to play, which was nice, but it still was challenging. Really you really hard, have to think about like certain lot, things. What we did is creating these optional challenges. So when you are playing the game, they did good. This, what we call a collectible. And if you want, color this, we, basically Ooh. in the graphic part. And I didn't like it at all. I was like, this is impossible. It's going to be ugly as hell. Yeah. But luckily for me, we tried with the music. I saw it to the musicians. They told me a few things. And he said, OK, try with this music. And this is how it looked. And it blew my mind. Yeah, that's where you get the color green. But they also like made everything a little bit more pastel-like, so it mixed together very well. Where's this blue? Oh, this is blue. Why is it green? I'm not sure anymore. I'm confused. <laughs> Use that theme of instruments, just very, very, very minimal. Then Where when you go these? for the second color, you get you add a couple of instruments. Well, and finally, I would like to show you another of the trailers we have, so you can see some of the things that I have explained today. Gotta go. Have a good night. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for dropping by. See you next time. Once this guy appears and starts cutting things, he's like, okay, you have been working a month, a year in that feature. It's not quality enough, it doesn't adapt enough to the game, and it cuts everything. So obviously you hate him, but, but it's needed. It's a really, really crucial part of the development. Uh, you have to know when to stop. It will never be perfect. Your the game will never be perfect. So there has to be someone with that role. In our case, basically Roger and I were the two guys with most experience in the, in the industry, and we wanted to create a game that was very artistic and very fresh. So what we did is the first year, year and a half, we basically didn't complain about anything. Well, unless it was crazy, but <laughs> most of the <laughs> time we didn't complain about anything. We let the artists to do whatever they want, the designer. So we tried to give them everything. But when it was, I would say, six months before release or eight months before release, we start deciding what goes in and what doesn't. And telling them, OK, you cannot iterate over this more. This is good enough. If it's too, ba if it's too bad and we don't have time to iterate, we cut it. But that's, that's a really, really important part of the iteration. Yeah, that Knowing seems to be to very What we see, especially the artists, and they never too. made video games, they're always thinking that Certain it could things look a bit better, that you just that made. maybe Ugh. be, I don't know, nicer, and it's like, okay, that's it. It looks good. You have been seeing this for a year, so you, you are mad with it, but this is really good, so you need to tell them when to stop, yeah. It's stuck. <laughs> uh, hey, Lenanaki University of Waterloo. I was just uh, wondering. I think that uh, the main composer of Berlin is did. He did the team. Uh, the first few months. Yeah, so once we have that idea clear. With questions. Oh, I'm gonna stuff, die. I'm gonna I die. Think. But you can. Yeah. The game is very beautiful. Okay. Well. Beauty in the visual and auditory. That was enjoyable. Your game. Think of uh, people with this so. players with disabilities as far as people players who are blind. Oop. I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, I hope maybe they uh, release another part 
not so much about grieving, but maybe, I don't know, about depression or self-love, what you already said. That would be really cool. To kind of have the same concept, but different story. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you follow if you haven't yet. <laughs> And the next time I'm going live, I'm not sure when that will be. I will first have to figure out what I'm gonna play. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. So have a nice evening, everyone. And see you next time. Bye-bye.